back to my channel ellie here i'm so excited to share this video with you guys i have a scrapbook.com haul from black friday i went shopping on their website and they had a really really good deal that i could not pass up on so i'm super excited to show you guys everything that i got it's been a long while since i bought myself some craft supplies you guys just have no idea how excited I am, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so scrapbook.com was actually offering, um, they were offering a percentage off um, during the entire Black Friday weekend, um, all the way through Cyber Monday. And I think, I want to say it was like 20% off your entire order. And on top of that, you guys already know that they usually offer like some kind of a freebie that you can choose from. Um, or it's just a freebie that they're giving away. You just, you know, click on it, put it in your carts, and they'll ship it to you for free. Um, but during that Black Friday weekend, they had like a variety of different like freebies. And they had not only one, but two, and even in some cases, three, depending on the amount of your order, I think. So I'm really excited, you guys. I got some freebies, I got percentage off, and I got everything that I wanted. <laughs> so let me show you guys everything that I got. Look at how cute this little card is. It says the Crafty Holiday. They sent this to me. It is so cute. I love how like it has all these fun, colorful, pastel colors. But then it kind of sent me like who packed it and that sort of thing. Super cute. Um, but let's start with this because I'm leaving the best for last, you guys. Totally, totally. All right. So here's the freebie. This is one of the freebies that I got. This is the um, Poly Clear stamp. Um, it does say Happy Holidays, Merry and Bright, Wishing You. And then this one says Joy. This one is by Hero Arts. Looks like that's the brand. Um, it's a 3x4 clear stamp set. So, oh my goodness. I literally, for free, super cute. Um, I love it. I love this little happy holiday sign. Nice and big. Another freebie that I got was this clear double-sided adhesive roll, which is always nice to try their adhesive rolls because then, you know, if you like it, then you can go ahead and, like, purchase it. Um, but yeah, so... You get a nice whole little row. So I'm excited to see like how strong it is. But for free, that's a pretty good deal. Um, and then I also got for free this. Oh my goodness, I could not believe it, you guys. These are alphas. They are crafting cutting dies, metal dies. You guys know I love metal dies. Um... And these are the alpha sets. So, oh my goodness. So you get A through Z. I love the size. I've actually been looking for like smaller sizes so that I can incorporate into my cards. And I think these are perfect. I love like the print. They're very simple, very basic. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, these are completely perfect. And then you also get standalone cuts. Um, there's like yeah there's like other stuff in here i'm not really sure let me see i guess i can try and open it and see what we have oh there's like a mat in here oh it's like a yeah it's like a magnetic mat wow really cool anyway but yeah i got this for free again Super awesome. I love this. I can't wait to play with these. Um, okay, and then what I picked up, um, I picked up some Christmas uh, cutting ephemera. These are ephemera words, and then these are ephemera icons. They're by Bella Boulevard. I loved the design. I thought they were so cute. Um, this one has, like, little Santa Claus and... The bells, it has hints of pink and green and pastel tones. So I'm going to open this so you guys can see a little bit of what they are. And they're just, you get so many. Um, 
I mean, look at all of these, you guys. There is so much in here. You can use this for all kinds of stuff. For planner dividers, little making Christmas cards, all kinds of fun things. So look at that. So you get like little reindeers, mooses, trees. I love that tree. You get wreaths. You get small die cuts, big die cuts. I mean, these are just way too cute. I am like simply obsessed. I love these. So many, so many. You get like little ornaments. Look at this one with the little stockings. Just so cute. And look at the bells. I love it. Um, so yeah, this one's a really good buy. I actually have a few other <laughs> ones in my cards. I'm thinking I'm going to do a little bit more shopping because uh, I feel like when you have new craft supplies, you just get inspired to craft a little bit more. And that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. So we have that. And then we also got this one. This one is words and tags. So as you can see, there's words and then there's tags and like little banner phrases but i'll open it up so you guys can see how fun are these and i felt like um i want to start collecting more of these like word ones because i feel like i have a lot of decor but what i probably lack in my decor is like words and phrases and little banners december me memories marry everything bright peace on earth then you have like little polaroids that you can take apart um you have like little decorative headers you have a bigger words like these oh my goodness these are just so cute jingle then you have like little banner types look at how cute this one is then you have like little banners so, really cute. Again, these packs are definitely worth it. I can't wait to play with these. <laughs> it's a lot. As you can see, you get a lot. So, And these packs usually run for about um, anywhere between like $4.99 to like $8.99, $9.99, depending on, you know, the brand, the pack size, but... If you haven't checked out scrapbook.com, definitely check them out. This is no way sponsored. This was just me shopping on Black Friday. <laughs> Alright. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. So, I was kind of bummed about this one when I got it, but I'm actually pretty excited about it. Um, I thought this was a metal die that I could have and just reuse over and over and over. This is the Doodlebug chipboard album. I don't know if you guys follow Doodlebug on Instagram, but uh, for Christmas, they've been doing like um, specific projects. And one of the projects that their designers have been showing was the Doodlebug chipboard album, you know, and how they decorated and that sort of thing. So, I read it wrong. I thought for some reason that this was a metal die, but when it came, I saw it was a chipboard album, and I'm like, oh my god, this is literally like a one-time project kind of thing, and then you're kind of done. Um, so yeah, I was really hoping it was like a metal die, but it's not. But I'm really excited, though. You, It makes 16 pages, so it's a full little album that you can create. It even comes with the rings. Um, so you get two of the 50 point covers, um, you get the 50 point rooftop and then four of the 30 point dividers and then four of the 15 point pages and then two binder rings. And then it shows you the little projects that you can create using their, um, doodle book collections. So I thought this was really cute. I'm actually, I bought a collection to do this one for, and I'm going to show you which one it is, but I can open this up to show you guys in case you guys are interested in picking it up. Again, I thought it was a metal die, but it's not. <laughs> and then it kind of just gives you like 
um, the measurements for like the windows and the trim. Isn't that cool? So again, it is a chipboard. So you have the little like cover. So you basically just decorate all of this and you add the rings when you're done and it becomes like a little album. So you get the window cut out then you get just like regular baseboards. The holes are already pre-punched for you. So I guess my next thing is going to have to be um, figuring out what glue will work best for this kind of little project. Because I feel like the ATG adhesive that I have might not stick on so well. So from what I've seen, I think people use like actual like crafting glue. Um, and I actually saw that Doodlebug has a really good one. So, um, sorry, not Doodlebug, scrapbook.com. I saw they actually have a really good one. So I'm thinking I may end up picking it up. But either way, this project, um, I, I'll probably start it in 2024. Because like I said, I have a specific collection that I want to use this for. And that is going to be the <laughs> valentine's doodle bug uh paper pack oh my goodness you guys this one is so cute uh this one is called i don't know if it has a name oh this one's called lots of love this is the 12 by 12 paper pack so usually comes with a 12 by 12 um sticker sheet and then it also comes with like, um, usually it has a sheet built in with like pull apart cards. So I'm going to use this one to decorate my chipboard album. I'll definitely make sure I do a video on this and how I do it. But I'm really excited. So let me show you guys the pages. Just in case you guys are interested in picking up this collection. I feel like Doodlebug's collections have gotten a little bit more expensive. But they are just so cute. I mean, they're definitely worth the money. And I'm sure you're going to have, like, leftovers for, you know, other little fun projects. But look at how cute this is. Again, this is a Valentine's Day theme. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. They're all double-sided. I love this print right here. So cute with all the little hearts. Then you have your XOXO, more hearts. This one has little faces on it. Then you have tags, really cute. So you can make a bunch of different little tags. Is that not the cutest? You can cut them out, add specific like little ribbon to it. And you can even make just like a little key ring out of it. That would be cute. Then you have your little balloon with the heart. You have your red plaid. You have florals, and then you have, um, I forgot what these are called, list. I think these are like list um, prints. And then you have the rainbows and the clouds. Then you have, again, another kind of like pattern. You have pull apart cards here. You can cut them out. Then you have this one. You have, oh my god, this one's so cute. It's like little notebook paper and pastel colors. And then you have florals, pink. Oh, this would definitely be a really cute TN, but I want to use it for my chipboard album. Look at how cute. If I like think about it really, really well, I could probably make a TN out of it, a small one. But look at how cute this is. And then lastly, you get your 12 by 12 sticker sheet right and then they have everything else that comes with the collection of course everything is purchased separate um but they have like ephemera that goes with it so i think slowly i'm gonna try to collect some of the ephemera and um yeah and maybe some of their chipboard stickers but that's what i got I'm gonna go ahead and put this away I got that. 
really excited about that. All right. And then you guys. Okay, I've been seeing, of course, on Doodlebug, everybody make this. Um, this is the Doodlebug Design Advent Calendar. This thing is huge, and it came packaged so pretty. This is what it's packaged like. I'm going to try to do, like, a nicer overview for you guys, but just to show you guys. I mean, look at this. So this is their Christmas Advent Calendar. It has 24 fillable drawers, and it's really hard, um, so it's very sturdy. You can customize it um, with doodlebug paper, um, so you better know I'm going to deck mine out. Except I'm not going to use mine um, as an advent calendar. I'm going to use it for storage in my craft room because I want to decorate this, and I'm going to show you guys um what i do with it so here let me take you guys really quickly off the tripod all right so that is what it looks like oh my goodness it is so cute so again you have all your little drawers then you have the roof of the house then you have the chimney and then on the inside um it does says it does say that they give you a template as well um so that I think you could, you know, know what to cut, but look at how cute that is. Isn't it adorable? So I'm really excited about this one. It was actually sold out and then I put in my email so that they could um, email me when it came back in stock. And as soon as it came back in stock, luckily it was before, um, like during Black Friday. And I was like, okay, I'm picking it up. So I got it. Um, and then this is the collection that I'm going to be decorating it with. This is the Cute and Crafty collection. This is so cute. I love it. Again, you get your 12 by 12 sheets. And then um, I want to try to get the ephemera for it as well. I'm going to open it so that you guys can see it. But this is the collection that I'm going to be using to decorate my little doodlebug advent house. I'm very excited about this, you guys. So again, since I just want to use it in my craft room as storage, I thought this collection was perfect. It's cute. It's crafty theme. And it goes really, really well. And so again, it's all things crafting. You have like little paper and glue, rulers. I mean, even the little camera. <laughs> it's just so cute. So then you have just like... um box in the back this one is more like a notebook look at a notebook page really cute then you have the pencils in the back you got florals super pretty then you have what's kind of like washi strips look at the little scissors oh my goodness ah oh, and then you have the yellow with the hearts you have this beautiful plaid you have the Live, Love, Create, all words. And then you have this. I probably won't use it. I'll probably save this for like a little project. Then you have like a rainbow paper. Then you have little red hearts. Some more flowers and buttons. Then you have some more plaid. Some more grid. Then you have your pull apart cards. And so the reason why I got these is because I think there's actually 24 in here. And these would be my um, little drawers. So that's also why I got this collection. And I was so excited that it actually came with it. Because if you notice, the Valentine's one didn't have this. So... If you want to get the advent calendar, you need to make sure that your paper comes with all the little squares um, so that you can decorate your boxes. And then you have this one that's like paint, like paint splattered. You have lime green. Then you have this one. It's washi, washi tape. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Then you have this pink polka dot. You have the sewing machine so cute and then lastly the florals 
and then some more larger pull apart cards i love this one thanks for helping me keep it together <laughs> really cute and then lastly of course you have your 12 by 12 uh, sticker sheet and then you can always you know take some of these and incorporate it into a planner spread there's so many things you can do with these collections so i definitely always recommend getting them if you're you know super into crafting but that is pretty much it you guys that is everything i picked up <laughs> um so far for black friday but yeah i'm really excited and i hope you guys stay tuned for these upcoming videos um again these will probably be projects that i tackle in the new year but i'm really excited to share them with you so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out turn on your post notification bell button so that you're notified when my videos go live Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.